hello 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 everyone and welcome to my second training tutorial okay and today's uh i'm going to be showing you on how to create the command as we saw last time uh this was our invoice if you remember we saw how we can use this uh, application uh, this application or the invoice tracker so in today i'll be showing you on how to create needs using the vba tool all right so uh before that let us uh go to our our developer tab then under developer tab go to that then we have our configuration and our modules and you can see that we have uh email as pdf okay we can see when you run down so these are the things you are going to base on and creating save as pdf i sing them then we have uh, save invoice as excel okay so the last one we have create new invoice okay then you have record of invoice okay now this is what we are doing remember now when you are looking at these uh, up this invoice of ours you can see that we have add record we have this we have create and that so remember there are five so when you go back to our stuff and you can see that each and everywhere we are having the creation of that you can see you can see that when you actually when you look at these configurations you can see that they are similar in their configuration when you check on these uh, uh, variables you can see that the variables are similar to them okay and you can see also the when you check under that create you can see these variables are totally similar to each other okay as in their configuration when you check here you can see we have this uh when you check here you can see this all right they are similar similar the same okay so but my key point is not there so you have to see these sub uh subsections okay uh we have uh that you have save invoice as you can see them save as pdf they are five so my key area is to see or to show you on how to create that okay so what you do we under here just go to your developer then we have to insert you see we have uh, this uh and now you have uh we have the command uh, the command the, the control button here i think it so you just come here and draw it here all right so after drawing this command button just a moment so this is my command button all right so i can just rename it say maybe you or let me just repeat it again you just go to insert go this command okay where we have the button okay then just come and drag and draw it somewhere that you need you get the point so this is what it's going to tell me you can give it a name maybe okay you give it any name that you wish okay uh you can just give it any name that you wish or you can you can change it by yourself from here okay okay maybe i say maybe let me try to say copy okay that is it so i can just right click on it i go to assign my macro now it will have to navigate where this is according to my vba this is not there okay so this is how you can do it you can create this information okay so let me just use this okay so reason being when i try to say this and i say assign macro now when you say add it to record so add record remember i said it has to be as we say record of invoice okay so when i just click on that then it will be that then it just come the same scenario will happen to the rest okay so when i go to uh, to create new invoice number then you can see create new invoice number that's when to take the macro so what does macro do the macro what they help us to do they record each and every step that you can retrieve and check whatever thing that you are doing okay that is how we can add in this control panel according to the way to your wish or according to your client's desire now that is how we can use those panels now let us look, try to look at you know, how to create our this login panel okay 
this login panel as you can see you, you are seeing me when i try to login when i try to create something okay maybe i say uh, you are trying to see that when I try let me try to close it and you see okay say so don't save the changes that I've made okay now when I go back to my to my to my to my my file explorer uh, then I go to my drive D under my projects then I hope to go to this okay so let us see. Just a minute as loading. I know this machine very slow. Now you can see here showing you before you open it for security pass. So you have to put in that then. Put in the credentials right okay now okay my cues so that is it now assuming let me close it and uh, say save whatever so let me try to open it again try to open it again so this time round I'm going to use lowercase and the password I'm going to put a correct password okay and you see what the information will give me okay access deny please enter the correct initials why password is right but the disk initials now let me change put that then I put maybe a password which is incorrect so then i say login then it's here to tell me the same thing now that is how uh how secure my phone my 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 software is so let me put in uh, the correct information okay then i click on that then it let me access allowed all right now let us see on how to use that panel okay then still you shall use the developer tab you go there then you go on uh you go on this okay go on your basic now first and foremost what you have to do you have to call for this workbook that you are dealing in before you go for this user file so what i'll do click on that now you can see i'll have to create this information application equals visible dot visible equals false okay user form dot show user form dot show now depends on the name of the file that you are using okay this is where you first have to first start your configuration now when i go there is a form here this is the form okay now how do you use this form just go on insert then you go on user form okay then you create a new form that you need okay so when i just click on that create form then it will bring for me that form but i already have that form now let me use this form and under this form what i'll do I'll go on my tools. It is my toolbar, toolbox. So I have to use my labels. Okay, I create a label. I have my B label. Okay, as you saw here, our labels we are having two labels. Okay, username and this. Okay, we have uh, these are our text box and these are our commands. So let us try to run on this. So just to, here I can duplicate by saying I press the control button and my, my i press the control then i hold my left click button okay then drag down to duplicate it all right so i have two of them so i'll go ahead still and uh, have my text box okay whereby i now have to assign in the information that i do that still i hold my left my control then the left key button then drag that all right so that those are the two things we have done so i'll go ahead now let me try to use my command button okay uh my command button i have maybe two that on the left button then drag okay um, now let me just try to feed in some information here now uh here i'll say maybe say right click properties 
Now under my properties, you can see the username is called here. The caption is telling me that so I say maybe uh, the username, the username space, username. Then I'll go here. I say and password. Okay. Now password. We have now. You can see when you scroll down and you go down under the password, you can see. Under password, just a moment. All right, okay. So let me go back to this file now. File now. Here I have written. It's our password. This is now for the label. You don't need to change anything. So just type in. So let me try to increase. Just press that. Then press the control. Then click on that. Then let us try to change our font, uh, font color. Anyway, I have to leave them in too much. So back color. Then I can change my font. Can change my font. Can change my font. To bold, I increase to maybe 20. Okay, so I'll go and change my, my four color for that. Just four color, my four color, I give it white. Okay, so that is it. All right, so I can also go ahead and change the back color. You just go to property or you can just right click properties okay then you go to my back color my back color and choose any color okay maybe i need i love normal that love that color okay that is my back color all right then uh, that is it for that i uh, configure that so uh, i go now this just to show that's what are you entering here now we go back now let us try to work upon this we have that so i go to right click or you can just go to properties okay here you go to property windows here okay or you can just right click now we have to change the text here you can see where you can see the name we have to use this text box one so you have to change it according to your wish okay now what you do you have here you can see now instead of writing that so it shall say short name txt it says as uh, case sensitive so you start by the capital letter now here i'll not use this the red the use the name username all of it i'll just use the short name and say capital n then i say name all right that is it uh then i go to this now i come to that i go to txt capital p password all right now for passwords you begin here when you're writing passwords just a moment passwords okay properties okay now for passwords you can see you have to locate down the icon for information for passwords just a moment as you're locating for it on the password now you can see password character now here you have to put that arc or a star sign that in case you are typing in so it has to be in that formula so no one cannot easily get it should be it shouldn't be in a clear format all right so let me first leave that area before me minus me putting anything let me just see what i'm going to do just control then i try to add to change my properties of windows property so let me go to my font in my font font i have to increase my font maybe i give it around let me just give it around 80 then okay let me go back to font then i give me it maybe that click on that so okay that is it so let me try to run it and i see okay right click on that this is how it looks like so I put in that then uh, 
write right icing now the password here is in invisible format all right so that's not what you want okay let me go back now what you do you have to go back here to this and right click properties okay then you go to my password okay uh, here password character just press shift and that eight okay to get sign. okay so you click on save it then try to run it click here click in space click anywhere then click on that so when i try to run it i think right now when i'm trying to run how good that's something good very 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 good very very good okay so that is it okay now let us try to configure also this and this now this is my login this for login this is exit so i come here still now in under the command so i change cmd okay cmd okay and i put in uh capital d capital l capital l whatever stuff you need or you can be signing or login whatever stuff so in here our caption you have to change the caption to change this name okay so you have here you can just say capital letters login right so in here also i say maybe cmd for command then exit all right then in here my caption should i put exit exit as it is okay now let me try to increase on these fonts okay my font let me try to increase on the font bold if them maybe 18 but you can give them 17 by just typing 17 if in case you want it okay then to be increased then i have let me try to change the back color for them Try to change the back color for them. Okay, the back color. Let me just give them different back colors. Back color. I give in maybe green. Then this I'll give him back color. I'll give in maybe that color. All right. So that is it. Okay. I have finished my configuration. My my done with everything of mine. Okay. And that that okay so when i try to run it and you see this is how wow it looks like okay now let us now go to the configuration part of it okay as you can see here the way i've done it so you're going to and uh, so uh to go ahead so you can still also align this center okay by just going to my alignment here you can see line and them left center so when i click on that it so that's how it will look like so it's upon you whatever i want to see it, okay so visible you can increase on the height of uh, the information maybe you need it to 30 then you can see uh, the way that information will decrease okay this uh the label so depending on how you feel like that's how you can modify your your sign in or logo whatever stuff yet you may need now let us go to our configuration okay now the configuration remember i told you first go to the modules here okay to, to this workbook now this workbook you have when you're here you have to call for this you write in the workbook okay then after the workbook you have to click on it has to be active okay so the command is you run this is the command you first run in okay application dot visible equals false for the information that you are putting in okay if it now application dot visible equals false it implies that in a case uh the information that you are giving is not right then to give you according to the workbook that you are dealing it will give you false. so our user form one dot show it will show that form now in case here the name of the form is different okay assuming here now uh when i open my form and instead of having this form and that's why i just right click and say properties now instead of having user form 2 i say maybe yeah sign in okay sign in panel okay maybe okay you get maybe uh so yes sign in you see it's okay say sign in okay now when i do that it say this is my form i sing it so it will give me this information okay so when i'm trying to 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 configure when i go to configuration okay 
and uh, configuration so i got this workbook so i have to instead of having the username with this user form here okay instead of having this user form i'll have this information okay i'll have to use this the uh, the user form one okay i have to use this user form one all right so so this name doesn't matter so sometimes when you're configuring you have to use this user form dot show it implies you have to show this form now this is the only configuration you have to run under this workbook now afterward you have to go now and open this form okay just double click on it okay now we are going to sign we are going to start writing in login and log out as you can see now the configuration here it is here okay when you click on that here these are the configuration you can see that for exit you just double click on exit it's off okay under this just type in uh exit okay then the configuration is here already here as i'm showing you it is application dot quit okay then this workbook dot close save changes okay then you can see under also the login panels so you just go ahead still and click on that and configure this information that is here so you can you can just check this configuration and you can see if text dot that now because we are using remember when this text is wrong okay now this txt the txt name this is the name here that we we have here when you look under our when you check on our user form here under these properties when you check on these properties okay this is the name we are using txt dot txt name okay so it's the same thing you have to use when you're configuring your information here okay when you're trying to configure you have to use txt dot name as you can see on here all right so you can see txt dot equals admin prison now the admin implies the username then you have txt password you read so uh the password or text as we said when we configured you remember our password then we have given the password okay then say then message access allowed in case the, the reason is that say then message box access allowed this is the information you can give you can give anything okay or web credentials allowed whatever stuff that you need then application dot visible equals true okay then unlocked unload me it implies that let me in all right so ls message box access denied please enter the correct initials ne text t text txt name equals blank okay password equals blank then end if here it implies when you put in the things which are not right so it implies it will then it will give you this is the information which is closing the, this configuration saying that and if so when you put in the information which is not correct then the information will not load in okay so that is the configuration that i wanted to show you so today we have seen on how to use the to add in the uh the control panel the con the uh these applications we have seen on how to add in these uh command buttons okay then you have seen on how to create our sign in or exit panel in excel so thank you for watching and thank you for viewing hope this video is going to be of use to you please don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel thank you see you next time